I'm Kathy Adams Clark, and I use um, I use Facebook, and I use uh, LinkedIn, and I've had fun just simply keeping in touch with friends that I don't see all year long, except at NAMP conventions and things like that. And it's fun just to keep in daily contact with people. My name is Rich Reed, and I'm a Let's see, I started out as a professional photographer, still shoot photography, but I consider myself a filmmaker now because mm -hmm. I could tell the story much greater and hit a bigger audience. Mm -hmm. And I found with the web and certainly like Vimeo, mm -hmm. um, those type of portals, I'm getting thousands of hits which I never would have reached that audience before. And next year, 365 days from now when we get to this conference, there's going to be a paradigm shift and everybody's going to want video. You're a business? Yeah, we are. We're, uh, we do have some social media involved with the, what we do. Um, we do have a Facebook page. We also have um, Safari Central on our website is actually what our blog is. It's on a daily blog um, and there I share galleries from future guests. Some of our guests put on stories. I also post information about our trips. Um, some interest stories about conservation. And do you have any reservations about doing this whole social media thing? No, I just don't know how to get started. Yep. Yep. I'm Sue LaRose. I'm director of workshops for the Rocky Mountain School of Photography. We use Facebook in a lot of ways. Um, it, sort of advertising is the least that we do on Facebook. We just want to generate interest and excitement. So when one of our photographers does something cool, we get it right on Facebook. If a, if a photographer's coming into town, we get them on Facebook. We let people know who they are because we have some really interesting and unique folks working for us and so we want to get that word out. That's excellent. Hey, I'm Chris Gamble and I'm here at NAMPA presenting on wildlife filmmaking. Of social media so far, I've pretty much been limited to Facebook and starting to dabble in Twitter, but hands down it's obvious it's the wave of the future. Mm -hmm. And so starting to explore and just finding the time to explore in those areas and not just playing with it, but also learning how to use it for a business. So I'm able to interface with a lot of my photography friends that I never would have in the past. Um, I get to see where they go. We post pictures and share ideas together. So it's just a wonderful media to be able to share and explore ideas together. I use Facebook, but I haven't really taken the time to learn Facebook. And it's a different deal. Yeah. I, po I post information about my workshops <laughs> on the NAMPA site and also post information about the NAMPA um, summit. People, a lot of people do the, do the likes and make comments and things like that. So when I posted something about being here and attending Julianne Cost and uh, Lightroom and Photoshop, thing, a lot of people had uh, comments about that. And yeah, yeah. I've seen blog. Your blog works yeah. well mm -hmm. yeah. if you're consistent, right. which I'm not. <laughs> well, have you seen people start on your blog and then kind of lose interest because of not posting? Or? Because of not posting, yeah. yeah. You've got to yeah. post. Yeah. It does work. Do you know right Gary Farber? <laughs> My name's Tom Ulrich, and I don't do Facebook, I don't Twitter, and I don't even text. Wait, can, what, what is your name, sir? Gary Legend Farber. <laughs> This is Gary the Legend Farber. Gary, do you, do you use Facebook or Twitter or anything like that? Yes, I'm very big in it, actually. Yeah? Facebook, Gary Farber, I have over 1,500 members, 1,500 fans now. Okay, so we should uh, look him up, Hi. Right? Yes, you should. <laughs> okay, and have you seen that Impact Hunt's photo at all? Actually, I have seen it, Impact um, Hunt's photo. We are the Tender Buggy Company. Nice. We own Tender Buggy Adventures in Churchill, Manitoba. Do you guys use um, social media platforms? We sure do, so you can find us on Twitter and uh, Facebook. And, uh, and follow along as we tweet uh, different experiences out on the tundra during polar bear season. We love okay. using Twitter during season and we're out on the tundra, we take a picture and we put it up on Twitter right away. Hmm. Yeah. Do you use like TwitPic or TweetPhoto? Or uh, how do you, how do you Yfrog? Nice. Yfrog, yeah. yeah. Well, there's about a bazillion different Yeah, there's a so. bazillion different. Facebook tends to be our, our community, you know, people have traveled with us, people have a love for polar bears. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of followers, you know, people sign up when they want to see new uh, what products do we come out with? So yeah, it was, it's definitely helps. And there's been requests on there for product improvements, so you can, you know, it's actually possible to create an MRD from you know, mm -hmm. a lot of the input that we receive from Facebook. So what we mean by the hidden world are things, subjects that are too fast, too dangerous, too small, too elusive. Cognosis Incorporated. Uh, my name is Jerry Dodrill. Nice to meet you, Jerry. Nice to meet you. And what what have you used on in terms of social media? I've been using Facebook extensively to uh, network with my customer base, with fans, with people who are interested in my photography, uh, largely to promote uh, photo workshops. And I was able to leverage the show through my social media and asking some of my friends to suggest it to their friends. 
Yeah, we had a tremendous turnout for a show. Um, almost probably 90 percent of the people that showed up were directly from uh, what we had done with social media on Facebook and it turned out to be very successful and sold a lot of art. And so you put a, put a piece, an image out there and it, it's just fun to share it and see what get people's feedback. And it's a little bit of ego stroke when you get like 50 comments <laughs> and everybody loves it. You know, it doesn't always happen. Sometimes the one you think is going to be really good and you want to share it with your friends, uh, it kind of doesn't work out. Let me look at the camera. I'm Dennis Fast and this is my wife Frida and I go on Facebook periodically but I'm too busy to be there regularly. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Um, Facebook has allowed me to build this community and carry on an ongoing discussion and dialogue and bring more people into that dialogue and just get the word out about uh, not only the book itself but the issue that I'm trying to uh, help people understand. Bill Campbell. Good to meet you, Bill. Good to meet you too, Paul. I'm starting to see people use that for my workshops, use it to follow my photography, uh, stay in contact with people that have been to my photography workshop. It's more immediate and it doesn't demand my attention to my phone all the time. I can do it when I want to. So if somebody's on Facebook and they post something now, I can pick it up 12 hours from now rather than answering my phone right now, which I wouldn't do since I'm talking to you. Nice. Kabam. John Noon. Hi. Yes. Are or you, uh, John, or whatever you want to call me. Are you on Facebook? I absolutely am, believe it or not. Yeah. The one thing I do use is Flickr. Yeah. I use Flickr a lot because mm -hmm. that's up there for sharing and you can get photographs and you can find things through keywording hmm. that you can't get through Facebook. Facebook may have more pictures, but Flickr has got more useful images. Interesting. So you like that interface. And yeah. then will you be able to contact the photographer to get the rights to their images? As long as they have their email included in their profile. I do not share images. I don't even share anything. I'm on there to get information. Mm -hmm. I, I go in there to look at all of the groups that I'm aligned with and find out what mm -hmm. they're doing. I look at the photographers that mm -hmm. befriended so I can find out what their schedules are and what's going on. It's really a work function and everybody there is using it.